Number 3131 Long Chen vs. Liao Yu Huang. Young Master Chang Chuan actually ended up matched against Ku Wuaya, hence, everyone's heart clenched. Bai Shishi's opponent directly admitted defeat, but when they looked at Long Chen's tablet, they sucked in a cold gasp. The name on it was Liao Yu Huang, the unfathomable expert of the Zither sect. Bai Shishi and Ji Yui Yun's opponents admitted defeat, so there were only six matches for the top eight. Do you have confidence? Bai Shishi spoke to young master Chan Chuan for the first time. Young master Chan Chuan's expression was grave. I'm probably not his match, but I'll do my best to force out his trump cards. Young master Chan Chuan was also a true expert. He had even fought against Ku Wuaya before. That battle had lasted thousands of exchanges before young master Chan Chuan lost to Ku Wuaya's curse. After Long Chen had pointed out the reason for his defeat, Young Master Chan Chuan had felt that he could win, but Ku Wuaya's power had soared. He was now capable of receiving the attack of a treasure item with his bare body. That was unbelievable. The only ones here were allies, so Young Master Chan Chuan could only say the truth. He couldn't beat Ku Wuaya. He could only unleash his full power and force out his trump cards. You should directly admit defeat, said Long Chen. Brother Long, Young Master Chan Chuan's expression changed. Long Chen waved his hand, I have no intention of looking down on you, if you know you can't beat him, don't fight him, don't let all your sharpness deflate, in a fight between experts, the chances of winning by a surprise move are very low, in the end, you are competing with power, in a one against one, knowing someone's trump guards or not doesn't make much of a difference, furthermore, your full moon rays specializes in power, no, his poisons and curses are your perfect counter. Even if you were equally matched, you would be at a disadvantage. Every defeat to an expert will impact their sharpness. If you lose the same person twice, then even if you are mentally prepared, you will unconsciously form an instinctive fear toward experts of that type. That's not beneficial to your future cultivation. But I'm a bit unwilling to admit defeat just like this. Young Master Chan Chuan clenched his fists. He came from a mysterious life forbidden area. If he admitted defeat here, it would be a loss of face. Long Chen smiled. Didn't you say that your people don't want you to go all out in this convention anyway? If you retreat now, you can just say that you're following their orders. But, what but, listen to me, preserve your power for when it's needed, said Long Chen. All right, I'll listen to you. Ultimately, young master Chang Chuan chose to listen to Long Chen and admitted defeat Noveloon.com. This caused an uproar. No one had expected him to admit defeat. They were disappointed. With Bai Ziao defeated and young master Chan Chuan admitting defeat, the High Firmament Academy's side only had Long Chen and Bai Shishi left. Once the lots were drawn, everyone returned to their residence. After one day, the battles restarted. The atmosphere was particularly tense now. Countless eyes were watching, and everyone was clutching a photographic jade, wanting to record every bit of the battles. Zhang Ling, Zhang Xiu, and the others had long since arrived on the spectator stands. They all cheered when they saw Long Chen. All the High Firmament Academy's disciples cheered for Long Chen. However, their cheering wasn't as loud as yesterday. That was because his opponent was Liao Yu Huang. Liao Yu Huang had also won their respect and admiration. Now that the two of them were fighting, they didn't know who to cheer for. One of them would definitely be defeated. What they were most worried about was both of them being injured and unable to participate in the following matches. In the battle for the top eight, Bai Shishi, Ji Yuan, and Ku Wuaya directly passed. There were only five matches remaining. Long Chen and Liao Yu Huang were in the third match. The first match was between experts that they didn't know. This was a battle for the top eight, and both of these two primals unleashed divine arts and Tao techniques. This was an exceptionally intense battle, neither side held back. It wasn't for the rewards but for glory. There was a huge difference between entering the top hundred and entering the top eight. If a sex disciple could get into the top eight, then that sex reputation would soar. As for the disciple, they would probably be set to become the future sect master. For example, if the two families' four fighters could have entered the top eight, then their reputation would soar, and they would be qualified to fight for the position of the Chu family head. In this world, there were three things that moved people the most. Power, fame, and fortune. Any one of those things could drive a person crazy. After two hours, 
their high-tempo fighting gradually calmed down. Both of their auras were starting to drop. After one final exchange, both of them fainted. At this time, the Huaian Trading Company's people went on stage and evaluated their conditions. One of them was decided to have a bit more energy inside their body and lighter injuries, so they were declared the victor. However, that person's essence blood had been ignited to the end, so even in victory, there was no way that they could participate in the next match. The top eight was the limit. Whoever matched up against them would be getting a free match. The second fight started. This time, one of them was that fiery beautiful woman. Her opponent was also a very powerful primal, who immediately summoned his manifestation and unleashed his full power. However, that beautiful woman only crossed her arms in front of her chest, her fingers dancing. After that, the earth exploded, and vines shot out of the ground, covering the entire martial stage. Her opponent had only just charged out when he was bound. His protective layer of chi and manifestation were both blasted apart by the vines. She's a wood element expert. Even Long Chen was stunned. This was her first time unleashing an elemental attack. The divine light on those vines even shattered that person's manifestation. It was unknown what kind of power that was. I admit defeat. Once he was bound, that person hastily gave up. As a result, the beautiful woman's hand slowly loosened, and they were both sent out. She once more won with a single move. Long Chen was then sent onto the stage along with Liao Yu Huang. Both of them stared at each other through the barrier, and the crowd fell deathly silent. This was a match between experts. All of them watched closely. Chapter 3132 Musical Scale As Long Chen and Liao Yu Huang appeared on the stage, Everyone fell silent. Both of them were considered contesters for first place. Now that they finally met each other in the clash for the top eight, no one could predict who would win. May I be so bold as to ask who came up with your name? Asked Long Chen. It's my mother, answered Liao Yu Huang. What a good name. It seems that your mother is not only skilled in the music Tao, her mental realm must have reached an enviable level as well, said Long Chen. No way. Boss is also going to suck up exclaimed Bai Ziol in disbelief. Bai Ziol had put on a humble appearance for fear of provoking Liao Yu Huang. He had known that she wouldn't kill him, but she could definitely have given him a miserable beating. Now, Long Chen directly praised her name. This kind of bootlicking was a bit too direct. What a coward. He fears the strong. He might put on a good show against a weakling, but he tucks his tail in between his legs when he sees a really strong person. That's right. Now everyone is seeing his true face. You were all tricked by him. This fellow doesn't have any ability. A fake hypocrite. Just like that by Ziaol, he becomes a coward as soon as he faces a real opponent, trying to worm his way into being friends. Long Chen, you've lost the face of all men. Hurry up and scram. In just a moment, quite a few people began to shout loudly, unlike at the start of the convention when the martial stages barrier blocked the outside world's influence. It was now possible to hear the people in the stands, but if someone in the top eight could be influenced by some random shouting from the outside, they didn't deserve to be in the top eight. Brother Long gives me too much praise, but my mother can barely count as a big figure. She is in charge of a zither sect 17th branch sect. I'm curious, how did you know? Liao Yu Huang cocked her head at Long Chen, interested in how he had guessed this. Those people cursing Long Chen instantly shut their mouths. The one in charge of the 17th sect? Then wasn't that a sect master? No one had expected Liao Yu Huang to actually be the daughter of the Zither sect 17th branch's sect master. That meant that she was truly a terrifying existence. The Zither sect was one of the four immemorial sects, and their Tao could be traced back to ancient times. Even the baptism of time hadn't interrupted its inheritance. Its foundation was shockingly profound. The four immemorial sects history stretched back even further than the Blood Gill Hall. Although they were very low-key, they remained famous. Hence, for Liao Yu Huang to be the daughter of a sect master, it was no wonder that she was so powerful. Those people that had lost to her hands were fully convinced. It's very simple. From your name comes the Yuan Huang characters. They are taken from the five notes and twelve-point scale. The five notes are Gong, Shang, Chu, Ji, and Yu. The 12-tone scale is split according to the yin and yang scales, 
The Yang scale has six tones, Huang Song, Taiku, Guxi, Rubin, Yais, and Wangsh. The Yin scale also has six tones, Dalu, Jia Zhong, Zhonglu, Lin Zhong, Nanlu, Ying Zhong. Your name comes from the end of the five notes, Yu, and the head of the twelve tone scale, the Huang from Huang Zhong. The five notes as the foundation, with the twelve tone scale as a complement, are very compatible with the heaven and earth strings, thus implying using music to merge with heaven and earth. With the 10,000 Aos, the zither has seven strings. Other than the heaven and earth strings, of the five, the Yu note is the most mysterious and profound. Furthermore, the Huang Huang tone is the head of the twelve tone scale, capable of peering beyond the heavens. A name like Yu Huang is one made to embody the music Tao. It is the very embodiment of the principles of the heavenly Deos. When you see fate before you, it is as if you see a dangerous path in front of you and the way that you came behind you. You must always choose where to go. I will make a wild guess that your mother gave you this name because she wished for you to understand that true learning and experience can only come from struggling through this world. Liao Yu Huang's eyes widened. She had never imagined that Long Chen had such an understanding. As for the spectators, they were lost in the clouds, not even knowing what he was talking about, but it sounded reasonable. Is Boss really this amazing? He even knows these things, exclaimed Bai Ziaol. Who do you think Boss is? He knows everything within heaven and earth. If you wish to follow Boss, you'll have to learn more, said Qin Feng with a smile. Just as everyone was staring in dumbfounded silence, Liao Yu Huang actually bowed to Long Chen. Junior sister admires brother Long's talent. I never expected you to have such accomplishments in music theory. I'd like to ask for some pointers from you. Long Chen returned her courtesy but shook his head. When it comes to music theory, I know merely the slightest bit. It can't count as any accomplishment. The only reason I know this little bit is because someone I know is a true expert in this regard. I have been influenced by her, and while I am unworthy of her music, even a foolish oaf like me can learn a bit over time. There's someone even more skilled than you, then I'd like for you to introduce us. I would be endlessly grateful, said Liao Yu Huang. This lover of mine ascended at the same time as me from the lower plane, but we've lost connection since then, and I haven't found a trace of her in the immortal world. However, after ascending, I would guess that she would join your zither sect. So I was actually thinking of requesting Fairy Yu Huang to ask around your sect to see if there is a newcomer named Ziyan. Long Chen's heartbeat quickened. However, he knew just how low this possibility was. If Ziyan had really gone to the zither sect, there was no way that she would be some nameless disciple. With her talent and comprehension, she would soar. As expected, Liao Yu Huang shook her head. My apologies. Our branch sect doesn't have such a person. As for other branch sects, I can't say. The branch sects are spread far and wide and rarely interact with each other. We might not come into contact for thousands of years. I can report to the sect master when I get back to help you investigate, but you shouldn't raise your hopes. Even amongst our connections, there are only four branch sects that we have regular contact with. We are unable to reach the other branch sects. Then I'll thank Fairy Yu Huang for the effort. Now, when it comes to us, Long Chen rubbed his fists awkwardly. The barrier between them had already vanished, and Long Chen's meaning was clear. Now that they were done talking, it was time to get to business. Long Chen's goal was the Golden Dragon Scale. It didn't matter if his opponent was friendly, as that dragon scale had to be his. Liao Yu Huang smiled. Brother Long is very capable. I can tell that you view first place as something you must obtain. Normally, I should retreat here, but I also feel unwilling to do so. How about I instead play a song for you? Long Chen smiled. He understood her meaning. Ultimately, Liao Yu Huang wanted to test him. Liao Yu Huang then pressed her hand against her zither. A single note rang out, one that caused every expert's expression to change. Chapter 3133 Liao Yu Huang Admits Defeat The sound of the zither was different. It was now capable of piercing the clouds and splitting rock. It used to be soft and gentle, but now it contained dense murderous intent. As the sound passed through the formation and entered their souls, their souls shuddered. Those with weaker spiritual strength felt a sharp pain, and they hastily circulated their full power to resist it. 
At this moment, shocked expressions appeared on their faces. How terrifying. She has yet to use even a fraction of her power in her previous fights. She always condensed swords with her zither strings to attack. But now her zither music directly attacks the soul. There's no way to defend against it. Before this, Liao Yu Huang had only used a single technique to beat her opponents. She only took out her real abilities when Long Chen appeared. We are protected by the barrier and at such a distance. So just how much stronger is this move on Long Chen who is on the martial stage? Seeing how unaffected Long Chen was, they were unable to imagine just how he managed to survive. Long Chen stood there with his arms clasped behind him. He was like a respectful audience member, calmly listening to Liao Yu Huang perform. I'll embarrass myself. Seeing that he wasn't moved, Liao Yu Huang suddenly switched to playing her zither with both hands. His fingers rapidly moved across her strings. Zither music began to ring out in earnest, and it was possible to see ripples spread from her fingertips. The entire formation shuddered because of this music. Teacups shattered amongst the spectator stands. At the same time, people felt their souls quivering. It was as if their souls were being pulled out. Are you all right? Startled cries rang out. They saw their comrades had blood gushing out of their eyes, noses, and ears, seemingly without even noticing. The spectator stands were quickly thrown into chaos. Just at this moment, an extra barrier appeared on top of the martial stage. Once it appeared, the pain in their souls instantly dropped. They then stared in horror at Liao Yu Huang. They had never expected that zither music could cause such a terrifying effect. If it wasn't for the formation, then other than a few select peak experts here, who could resist it? Too terrifying. I've long since heard that the zither sect is the head of the four immemorial sects, and that they all have ancient inheritances. But it's rare to see the zither sect's disciples roaming the world. Today, I'm finally bearing witness to their power. People sighed in amazement. Coming to watch this martial Dao convention had definitely been the right decision. Liao Yu Huang is terrifying, but Long Chen is also a monster. His expression doesn't even twitch in the face of this attack. Space twisted on top of the martial stage, and ripples could be seen flying. As for Long Chen, he was standing merely 30 meters in front of Liao Yu Huang. Her music was clearly entering his ears. Suddenly, Liao Yu Huang's expression changed and the tempo increased. Sounding hurried, cracks covered the martial stage. The surface of the martial stage crumbled and sank, seemingly about to fall into a bottomless abyss. However, even as everything around Long Chen collapsed, a pillar of earth remained beneath Long Chen. It was like a single stalagmite. What is that? Is it an illusion? The bottomless abyss that had suddenly appeared on the martial stage was shocking. It was like the gaping maw of a giant beast. It doesn't seem to be. If it was an illusion, Long Chen wouldn't stand on the only stable place. He definitely used some technique to block Liao Yu Huang's attack and protect the land beneath him. Just as everyone was guessing, the martial stage slowly restored itself. This confirmed that it was no illusion, it was real. However, up until now, they had never seen such damage occur to the martial stage. Although I always felt that this Liao Yu Huang was a very powerful existence, I didn't expect her to be even more terrifying than I imagined by Xiao stuck out his tongue. His intuition had told him that he couldn't beat Liao Yu Huang, but he had still underestimated her power. Just then, the urgent zither music came to a sudden stop, and a single heavy note rang out. In that instant, everyone watching felt like their hearts were being crushed. Everyone was shocked. They saw Liao Yu Huang holding her zither in one hand while the other pulled on a single string. This was no longer playing music. She had concentrated all her mysterious power into a single string. Liao Yu Huang then plucked the second string. As a result, everyone felt like their heads would split open. Feeling horrified, they didn't know if they should continue watching or flee. This was completely different from ordinary attacks. It was passing through the formation and injuring them. Just as Liao Yu Huang reached for the third string, Long Chen raised his head and roared. That roar seemed to contain a dragon cry, and it pierced through the formation and blasted apart the clouds in the sky. It was like a celestial roar, like a devil king's howl. A sound wave then unfurled throughout the martial stage. The zither music and the roar clashed, resulting in the martial stage shuddering intensely. Both Long Chen and Liao Yu Huang were then sent flying. After that, the two of them stabilized in the air. As for the martial stage beneath their feet, 
it was shattered and slowly recovered. From the start, its healing was unable to keep up with the destruction. Liao Yu Huang is injured. A startled cry rang out. They saw blood dripping from one of her hands that was hanging limply. My apologies. Your mental energy is too strong. That was already my limit. I had no choice but to counter that, said Long Chen. Liao Yu Huang shook her head. My skills have yet to reach perfection, and there are still many holes between my notes. I really am ashamed, for Brother Long to only defend is already a great concession. I'm embarrassed to have taken out such an immature five-note merger art. Thank you for having mercy. This battle has benefited me immensely. If I have a chance, I will definitely repay the favor. Liao Yu Huang cupped her fists to Long Chen and left with her zither. She admitted defeat. Long Chen then returned to the spectator stands. When he arrived, Luo Bing and the others immediately congratulated him. Just now, they really had been worried. No one had expected Liao Yu Huang to be so terrifying. Actually, she was the one who had mercy. We only had a mental clash. If we had fought all out, no one knows who would have won. Long Chen looked at the distant Liao Yu Huang inside. She was truly terrifying. Since that was the case, it would truly be the best decision for Zi Yan to go to the Zither sect. Mental energy? How could mental energy be so terrifying? demanded Lu Mingxuan. Mental energy was the most difficult thing to cultivate. It was far too mysterious and difficult to gain. That terrifying battle had only been the result of a mental energy clash that exceeded the scope of most people's understanding. The lots for the top four are being drawn, exclaimed Luo Bing suddenly. Hence, everyone instantly tensed. The next battles would be even more intense. Bai Shishi's tablet lit up. When they saw her opponent, everyone's expression grew heavy. Cool Wuaya. Chapter 3134 Dai Wu Bai Shishi finally encountered Ku Wuaya. Everyone knew that they would encounter each other sooner or later, but now that it happened, their hearts shook. Long Chen looked at his own tablet and sighed. It wasn't Ji Yuayun. He just saw the name before it grew dim. Clearly, his opponent had directly admitted defeat after seeing that it was him. The names of the fighters appeared in the air for everyone to see. Long Chen saw Bai Shishi against Ku Wuaya and Ji Yuayun's opponent was Dai Wu. That Dai Wu was that mysterious woman of unknown origins. The other pair was none of their business. No one cared about them. Although they were both powerful, there was no way for them to compare to Ku Wuaya, Ji Yuayun, and the others. They had managed to reach this point, not thanks to power but luck. When the two of them saw that they were fighting, they directly had a secret discussion. One of them admitted defeat, giving the top four position to the other. But his opponent had to have given quite a bit in payment. However, even if that person managed to get into the top four, his journey would stop there. He didn't even have the courage to fight the next match. What he wanted was nothing more than ranking. Two of the four fights had resulted in people admitting defeat before the fight even started. Now all that remained were Bai Shishi's fight against Ku Wuai and Ji Yuayun's fight against Dai Wu. Bai Shishi's expression was calm, not revealing the slightest nervousness. However, the others were fraught with nerves. After all, Ku Wuaya was a monster. When everyone returned to their residences to rest, Bai Shishi's mother called her daughter to her room. It was unknown what they were doing, but Bai Shishi didn't come back out until the next day. On the next day, when they returned, there was no cheering, only a monumental pressure hanging in the air. It was difficult to breathe. Everyone was staring nervously at Bai Shishi and Dai Wu. These two peerless beauties were about to fight two terrifying monsters. The High Firmament Academy's disciples clenched their fists, not even daring to say a thing. They all wished for Bai Shishi to win, but they were afraid that saying anything would affect her. Everyone had arrived, but there was still some time until the fight started. Hence, everyone was staring at Ku Wuaya, Ji Yuayun, Bai Shishi, and Dai Wu. Ku Wuaya was very large. Sitting there, he was like a small mountain. His eyes were closed, but the aura that he emitted terrified others. As for Ji Yuai Yun, he had put on a black cloak that covered most of his face. That was the garb of the Blood Gill Hall. He had actually chosen to switch his clothes for today's battle. Bai Shishi sat there lotus style like a statue of a goddess. She hadn't said a word today. Suddenly, startled cries rang out. 
Dai Wu actually chose to stand and walk over from her corner. The shocking thing was that she was heading toward Long Chen. Under countless flabbergasted stares, Dai Wu walked over to Long Chen. Even Long Chen was surprised. Miss Dai Wu, do you need something? Even Bai Shishi opened her eyes and looked over. Luo Bing and the others were all staring, not knowing what Dai Wu wanted. After all, from the start, Dai Wu had never said anything to them. They had had no interactions. Why would she suddenly come over? Dai Wu looked at Long Chen closely. She then slowly went on one knee, took Long Chen's hand, and kissed the back of it. Warrior blessed by the butterfly spirit race, if I die, I beg you to help me achieve my heart's desire and slay that evildoer. You. Long Chen was shocked. This woman actually knew that he had the mark of the butterfly spirit race on the back of his hand. Bai Shishi and the others were even more shocked. They covered their mouths, unable to believe what they were seeing. Such a powerful woman was on her knee in front of Long Chen, what was going on? The rest of the crowd was shocked as well, but they also felt profound envy for him. This indescribably beautiful woman had actually acted so intimate with Long Chen. Just at this moment, the martial stage was activated. Dai Wu looked at Long Chen profoundly and vanished, reappearing on the martial stage. As for Long Chen's hand, her fragrance remained on it. Before Long Chen even understood what was going on, Dai Wu and Ji Yui Yun were on the martial stage. Ji Yui Yun indifferently said, You came for revenge. Dai Wu coldly said, In order to obtain the blessing of the heavenly Deos, you used the cruelest method to extract the soul of the butterfly spirit race, making her experience unimaginable pain before her death. The butterfly spirit race is innately kind. They never hold grudges against anyone, but as her companion flower spirit, I'm not so kind. I want revenge. I will use your life as an offering to her heroic spirit. Hearing this, an uproar exploded. The spirit butterfly race was known as the kindest of all races, and they never fought with others. Even when others killed their members, they never held a grudge and went for revenge. The spirit butterfly race never provoked anyone and only helped others. Moreover, if others helped them, they would remember it for a lifetime. They were very rarely seen, but if someone did encounter them, he or she wouldn't harm them. They were simply too kind for the people to bear harming them intentionally. Ji Yui Yun had killed one, and as cruelly as possible, that instantly angered countless people. The path of cultivation is one where the strong are respected, while the weak are prey. As someone strong, I will naturally trample over others as my stepping stones. If I reach the undying realm, I will naturally be blessed by the heavens. Her death will also count as having a use. How was I wrong? Ji Yui Yun curled his lips disdainfully. Shut up. To reach that realm, you think you can freely trample over other people's lives? Do you know the true essence of life? As Dai Wu spread her hands, the martial stage transformed. Bird song filled the air, and grass covered the ground. Small creeks and rivers cut through the plains that were filled with a strong scent of flowers. At this moment, one beautiful butterfly after another appeared flitting across the flowers. There was one particular young butterfly playing around a pretty flower. The flower suddenly grew, revealing a girl inside of it. Following that, the butterfly also transformed into the appearance of a girl. The two girls held hands and laughed, running around the grass. Their innocent laughter was enough to make people forget the ruckus of the world. They immersed themselves in this world. The scene progressed. The two girls grew, and an identical rune appeared on their foreheads. The girl that had transformed from a flower was Dai Wu. In that instant, everyone understood. After that, the scene changed once more. A woman with butterfly wings was bound to a sacrificial altar, screaming in pain. Chains pierced through her body. At the end of those chains was a pudgy hand. When he saw that sight, killing intent soared in Long Chen's eyes, and it wasn't just him. Everyone was infuriated. Brute. Chapter 3135 The Evil Gui Yun The hand holding the chains belonged to Gui Yun. Spiritual runes flowed down the chain, absorbed into his hand. The spirit butterfly woman screamed in pain. However, Gui Yun remained expressionless, completely ignoring her pain of having her soul torn out. It was not long before her screams grew weaker, until they were gone. As her soul was extinguished, her physical body began to corrode until it turned into dust. A light breeze then made it vanish into heaven and earth. 
My butterfly dance race is another spiritual race along with the butterfly spirit race. I had a lifelong contract with her. After she died, my longevity also almost came to an end. The butterfly spirit race might be too kind to hold grudges, but my butterfly dance race is different. I will avenge her. Dai Wu's gaze contain pain, hatred, and endless killing intent. Ha <laughs> ha, I've killed plenty of people from the butterfly spirit race. There are also plenty of people who have come for revenge, but weaklings are weaklings. They can only resign themselves to their fate. Do you not understand? This is simply your fate. Ji Yui Yun laughed as if he had heard something incredibly funny. Just then, the barrier between them vanished and Dai Wu waved her hand. After that, the earth split open, and wooden thorns shot out. At the same time, ripples appeared in the air and space crumbled. Fragments of space-time danced through the air. The majestic energy even extended out of the formation to give the spectators a suffocating feeling. It felt as if their bodies would be torn apart. The wooden thorns then struck the martial stage's barrier, causing it to shudder. Ripples appeared in it. There were vague signs of it breaking, shocking everyone. What kind of power is this? Wooden thorns and giant vines twisted through the entire martial stage. It became a world of wood. Through the formation, they could see Dai Wu had appeared in the air. She actually began to dance. Her movements seemed to be the epitome of the heavenly deos. It was as if a single move from her, a single gaze, could draw forth the power of the heavenly deos. I understand. She is using the body as the Tao. Her dancing takes the place of her hand seals, exclaimed Luo Xue. This was her first time hearing of such a magical race. Dai Wu was like a majestic elf dancing in the air. As she danced, wooden stakes and twisting vines roared through the air, twisting together into a giant wooden dragon. The martial stage had long since vanished beneath this wooden world. As for Ji Yui Yun, he was covered by it as well. When cracks appeared on the martial stage's barrier, a second barrier appeared again. Only then was Dai Wu's power contained. This sight left people trembling. They could sense just how terrifying that wooden dragon was. Even space was compressed to the point that it was about to collapse, so a normal physical body would be crushed to smithereens. Even primals couldn't get close. This was what they called absolute power. Where is Ji Yui Yun? Was he killed? The wooden dragon had covered the entire martial stage. They couldn't see Ji Yui Yun's figure. Suddenly, a blinding ray of light appeared on the martial stage and that wooden dragon was blasted to bits. What? Ji Yui Yun's figure appeared, his body surrounded by divine flames that burned as intensely as the sun. He was like a god. The wooden stakes couldn't even approach him. Like a moth flying into the fire, you chose to kill yourself. Within those flames came Ji Yui Yun's disdainful voice. People stared in disbelief. How was such a powerful wood magical art broken so easily by him? It seems that I underestimated your wickedness. You've killed far too many members of the butterfly spirit race. You've managed to fully merge with the butterfly spirit race's blessing. They are the companion race to my butterfly dance race, and you've used their blessing to break my butterfly dance race's secret art. No matter how great my power is, I can't do anything to you. Dai Wu looked at Ji Yui Yun, her eyes full of hatred yet also profound helplessness. This secret art could only be countered by the butterfly spirit race. She had been hoping to use this secret art to suppress him, but unexpectedly, he had absorbed far too much of the butterfly spirit race's souls and blood. Not only that, but he must have also killed many experts of the butterfly dance race. He was very clear on their secret arts. Otherwise, there was no way he could break out so easily. That's why I said that you're a moth flying into the fire. If you hadn't come here, you would have had at least a few months left. But you just had to send yourself to your death. Since that's the case, I won't stand on courtesy. I will be taking your wood spirit energy. Ji Yui Yun suddenly began to walk through the air toward Dai Wu. As he walked, anything that was in his way disintegrated. I see. You've not only absorbed the essence of the butterfly spirit race but also my butterfly dance race. As an assassin, you specialize in concealing yourself. Meanwhile, we, the butterfly dance race, possess the divine ability to merge into heaven and earth. You wish to gain this ability to make your concealing arts flawless. A spark of understanding appeared in Dai Wu's eyes. So what even if you understand now? In my eyes, weaklings like yourselves aren't qualified to complain or resist. You exist in this world to be used by the strong. That is your fate. 
Don't blame me. You can only blame yourselves for being too weak. Ji Yuan Yun suddenly vanished. The space behind Dai Wu split open, and a hand reached out for Dai Wu's head. However, a flower mark then appeared on Dai Wu's hand. Space twisted, and she slammed her hand into that hand. As a result, a powerful explosion caused the space inside the stage to collapse. The spectators jumped in shock. A single palm could make space explode? Just what kind of power did it contain? Watch out, Long Chen suddenly shouted a warning, but it was too late. Dai Wu's palm struck nothing but air. That hand was not Ji Yui Yun's true body. Just at that moment, a sinister dagger stabbed through the back of her heart. Ji Yui Yun's fat and wicked face appeared out of thin air. Inferior life form, now do you believe in your fate? Chapter 3136 Long Chen's Rage Everyone's breathing stopped. Dai Wu's palm caused space to collapse, but Ji Yui Yun's dagger had stabbed through her heart. Even through the formation, the sinister air of that dagger made people's souls shudder. It was like a devil had cursed it, giving it a sinister, dark, and bloodthirsty Ji. Black runes instantly covered Dai Wu's body. It was like a net binding prey, and her body began to petrify. Ji Yui Yun, Release her and I will use her life to trade for yours, announced Long Chen. Whether it was the butterfly spirit race or the butterfly dance race, they were both innately kind races. Long Chen was unwilling to watch them just die. Although he also knew that Dai Wu wouldn't be able to live long due to the loss of her contractual partner, he was unwilling to watch this. That should not be her fate. Perhaps he might even have a medicinal pill that could save her life. Ji Yui Yun was startled. He quickly understood his meaning and laughed. Long Chen looked at her with a powerful light in his eyes. There's nothing to laugh about. I never joke with my enemies. The very first time I saw you, I was ready to kill you. If you release her, then when we fight, I can spare your life. If you kill her, I, Long Chen, swear to hunt you down whether you flee to heaven or hell. Even if Imputa supports you, it won't change your fate of being killed by me. Long Chen's words reverberated through the air and through people's hearts. Long Chen was actually planning on killing Ji Yui Yun. Where did that confidence come from? Ha ha ha, are you threatening me? How laughable. Ji Yui Yun laughed until the fat on his face bounced. I've never threatened anyone. I'm only stating facts, said Long Chen. Seeing Dai Wu captured, an indescribable sorrow appeared in his heart. Did this world really have such a thing as kindness being repaid by kindness? Then why would such a kind race end up in such a miserable plight? In the lower plane, he encountered the spirit race and the Luo spirit race. They were all kind races, but what did their kindness receive in return? They only received grief and pain. The mortal world was like that, and the immortal world was the same. Lord Brahma's hands had spread throughout the immortal world. His dogs were all over the Nine Lands and Ten Lands. Imputa was nothing more than one of his dogs, but he had established the Blood Gale Hall that terrified people. Lord Brahma was Long Chen's fated enemy. The losses of the Five Sovereigns, of Ling Yunzi, of the Old Man, of Chu Jinying, of Hu Feng, of everyone in that battle, it all could be traced back to Lord Brahma. Even if Long Chen wasn't a nine-star heir, he would not let off Lord Brahma, for Ji Yui Yun to appear before him. He definitely wouldn't let him leave alive. However, at this moment, Long Chen was willing to let him go for Dai Wu. This was no threat. But other than himself, everyone else thought that he was crazy. Just as everyone was staring at him in shock and contempt, Dai Wu smiled gently. Long Chen, you're a good person, a true warrior. My butterfly dance race will always remember your favor. However, I don't have long left. Letting off this fiend isn't worth it. Dai Wu's words were suddenly cut off by a scream. Ji Yui Yun's dagger had started to suck away her soul essence and spirit blood. Stop! You brute! Stop at once! Countless cries rang out from the spectator stands. Boom! A black figure suddenly charged at the martial stage. As a result, divine light flowed on top of the martial stage's barrier, and a runic sword shot out. This idiot! Bai Shishi and the others were stunned. Long Chen had actually charged toward the stage. It had to be known that the martial stage's formation prevented such interference. Even the flower butterfly patriarch, a divine lord expert, 
was seriously injured by it. Why did Long Chen suddenly turn into an idiot at such a time? This action was practically sending himself to his death. The runic sword whistled toward Long Chen. At this moment, runes flowed on top of Long Chen's hand, and a cluster of flames appeared on his fingers. Every cluster contained different runes. Bang! Long Chen's palm then slammed into the runic sword, and it was actually sent flying into the air. In an instant, everyone was stunned. That runic sword was sent flying by Long Chen? The barrier once more shuddered. Multiple runic swords now whistle toward Long Chen. Brave warrior, thank you for your kindness. Right now, all I can do is this, Navaloon.com. A flower rune suddenly appeared on Dai Wu's hand, and she slammed it behind her. It happened so suddenly that even Ji Yui Yun didn't expect her to be capable of such a thing. Boom. Dai Wu's hand slammed into Ji Yui Yun's body, he coughed up blood, and his chest was almost pierced. A flower mark was branded into his chest. Dai Wu smiled, you never expected this, right? I know that I can't beat you, so that palm of mine was missed intentionally. A portion of my power was sealed into my other hand, and my spiritual seal is now branded on your body. With Long Chen's blessing of the butterfly spirit race, even if your concealing arts are really perfect, you won't be able to escape his senses. This is all I can do. I believe that a warrior like him can kill you once you can't hide from him. Then I've also accomplished my mission. I can join, my companion. The remaining light in her eyes vanished. Just like that, she fell from the air. Her final palm had exhausted all her remaining longevity, but a sweet smile still remained on her face. Ji Yui Yun was shocked and enraged. He circulated his energy, but he was unable to remove the mark on his chest. That mark was bizarre. It sank into his bloodline, his bones, and even his soul. Slut, die. Ji Yui Yun furiously unleashed a fist, blasting apart Dai Wu's body. However, no blood appeared. She transformed into flower petals that danced through the air. The butterfly dance race was not human. It could be considered a branch of the flower demons, so those flower petals were her body. They fell, the final ending of a beautiful life. Ji Yui Yun. Long Chen's voice seemed to come from the depths of hell. Somehow, he had avoided all those runic swords and was now standing in front of the martial stages barrier. But it was too late. Chapter 3137 by Shishi vs. Ku Wuaya. Dai Wu died. A kind woman met her end due to revenge, but she left with a smile. The impression she left behind left everyone in sorrow. It made people feel that this world was unfair. The butterfly spirit and the butterfly dance races were companions. Watching as those petals fell, people felt like they could see a beautiful butterfly flitting through the petals. The flowers and butterflies were beautiful. They transformed into two girls holding hands and laughing as they ran through the grass. They could almost hear their innocent laughter. They loved this world and loved peaceful lives. They were kind and pure, but their world had been shattered. At this moment, the flower petals faded into heaven and earth. Countless people's eyes were wet without them even realizing it. Just how many people wished to live a life like that? Just how many people wished to escape the struggles of the cultivation world and live a peaceful life somewhere far away? A life where you didn't need to worry about whether you would live to see the next day. However, today, they personally witnessed the world they dreamed of broken. Hence, countless people clenched their fists furiously, gazing at Ji Yui Yun with hatred. Long Chen stood in front of the barrier. Everyone saw him clenching his fists so hard that veins throbbed in them. His body was still quivering. It seemed that his fury had reached some kind of limit. Long Chen. At this moment, Bai Shishi, Lu Mingxuan, Luo Xue, Luo Qing, and the others ran over to pull Long Chen back and calm him down. If he attacked the barrier, it would no longer just passively defend. It would truly attempt to wipe him out. Helpless anger is so pathetic. Don't rush, I'll send you to accompany them soon since you like them so much, said Ji Yui Yun contemptuously. He was sent off the stage. On the spectator stands, he made a throat-cutting gesture toward Long Chen. Long Chen, don't be impetuous, you'll get to fight him soon. You're also worrying Fairy Shishi. How can she fight Ku Wuai in this state, said Luo Xue, noticing that Long Chen's blood qi was circulating even faster. It seemed that he was about to charge at Ji Yun. 
Bai Shishi looked at Long Chen without saying a word. Long Chen was clenching his teeth, but after looking at Bai Shishi, he suppressed his anger. Luo Shue was correct. Bai Shishi was about to start fighting, ignoring whether or not Ji Yui Yun would even welcome his fight outside the ring. Even if he did, the hosts would not allow it. This would only affect Bai Shishi, while Ku Wuai remained unaffected. Thinking of this, he suppressed his anger and they returned to their seats. Bai Shishi and the others relaxed slightly, but Long Chen still didn't say a word. His face was shockingly dark. Compared to his normal teasing self, he seemed like a different person. He almost felt like a stranger. They couldn't imagine how someone as smart as Long Chen would do something as stupid as charging at the martial stage. That was purely courting death. Even a madman wouldn't do such a thing. Bai Shishi's tablet began to flash, indicating that she was about to go on stage. Long Chen suddenly grabbed her arm. Cool Wu as power counters yours. Victory or defeat will be decided in the first ten moves. Bai Shishi nodded. Long Chen's thinking was the same as hers. Her metal energy made her special eyes in wide area attacks. However, against a power type fighter, if they were on the same level, he could pierce through the openings in her attacks to counterattack. A terrifying expert like Ku Wuaya had plenty of combat experience, so he had probably figured this out. If he got used to her attack style, then as time dragged on, Bai Shishi's chances of victory would fall. The two of them then appeared on the martial stage. Bai Shishi was like a goddess. The entire martial stage was veiled in a mysterious aura because of her existence. Another woman, but don't worry, I'm not like that fellow. I'll take care of you properly. Ku Wuaya smiled at Bai Shishi. A touch of avarice appeared in his eyes. No one could remain unmoved in the face of such peerless beauty. What a low-level provocation. If you think you can anger me like this, you're wrong. I'm not like that brainless oaf, said Bai Shishi coldly. Naturally, that brainless oaf was Long Chen. She was also curious why Long Chen's character seemed to have gone through such an immense change after the Martial Dao Convention started. In the Jilin Immortal Land, he had been like a brilliant general, collected and cool. Their enemies were toyed with in the palm of his hand. But lately, he had been growing more and more foolish, and easier to anger. How spicy, I like it. Ku Wuaya's face darkened slightly, that smile of his was like that of a hunter staring at his prey. At this moment, black spots appeared on his body, it was like he was becoming a corpse. Those spots then grew larger until they became viper-like patterns covering his body. Black chi came from him, and people seemed to smell the scent of death from that black chi. Ku Wuaya was no longer as arrogant as before against Bai Shishi. As his aura circulated, an invisible pressure slowly grew. When the black chi around him suffused the air, the bricks beneath his feet began to corrode. Seeing this, Bai Shishi formed ant seals, and a golden mark appeared beneath her feet. Her divine might made her appear even more beautiful and untouchable. That golden mark beneath her feet had caused all of her competitors to retreat. Up until now, she had never been forced to actually use its power. All her opponents had simply admitted defeat as soon as they saw it. Now that it reappeared, countless people were filled with anticipation. They wanted to know just what this mark meant. It seemed that this riddle was about to be revealed. That black chi is Ku Wuaya's corpse chi. It is not only poison, but it also contains corpse energy. It can corrode heavenly Tao energy and invade a soul. Even as a member of the full moon race that is said to be invulnerable to poison, I couldn't block it. This Ku Wuaya is very difficult to deal with, said young master Cheng Chuan. Of everyone here, the only one that had truly fought against Ku Wuaya was young master Cheng Chuan. He was the only one who knew how terrifying this beast was. Boom. When the barrier separating them vanished, black and golden light instantly clashed. The moment that their two energies mixed, the martial stage was thrown into chaos. Die. Ku Wuaya suddenly charged at Bai Shishi like a bolt of lightning. He charged right into her domain with a black wolf tooth club. As a result, the ground beneath Bai Shishi suddenly collapsed. A golden lotus burst out of it. It rapidly grew, smashing into Ku Wuaya. A giant explosion then shook the martial stage. Chapter 3138 Golden Lotus Manifestation That's it. That made me feel so much pressure it felt like my soul was being stabbed. 
I had no choice but to concede. When that golden lotus appeared, a primal shouted. He had faced by Shishi, but when this golden lotus mark appeared, a sensation of death enveloped him. If he had continued fighting, it felt like his death would be doubtless. Several other primals had the same experience. They all trusted in their gut feeling. Now that the golden lotus truly appeared, that feeling was instantly confirmed. If they really had continued fighting back then, they wouldn't be alive now. The giant lotus unleashed explosive metal energy like a volcano erupting. Hence, the martial stage rocked like a boat on a furious sea, and even the very island that the martial stage was on quivered. Bai Shishi had started off with a wild attack. Ku Wu Aya's wolf tooth club smashed into the golden lotus, only for him to be sent flying back like a meteor. He bounced off the ground several times, every time leaving a large hole in the ground before he smashed into the barrier at the edge of the martial stage. The barrier shuddered, and cracks spread where Ku Wu Aya smashed into it. This power. This sight shocked people. Just how great of an impact did Ku Wu Aya receive to be blown back so far and still smash cracks into the barrier? It seemed that if it was a bit stronger, he would have pierced straight through the barrier. Ha ha ha, this will be fun. Ku Wu Aya fell from the barrier, but he seemed completely fine as he shook out some muscles. It seemed that even such an impact was unable to cause him any injuries. The barrier behind him quickly healed itself. The cracks faded. It was as if nothing had happened. With this wolf tooth club in hand, Ku Wu Aya walked back toward Bai Shishi. He sneered, in the current era, no one can compete with me in terms of physical body. The corpse devil Deo's inheritance will shine in my hands. Submit to me and be my dual cultivation partner. Otherwise, when I rule this world, I will destroy your high firmament academy. Ku Wu Aya's voice resounded throughout heaven and earth with unlimited arrogance. With every step he took, the void shuddered, and the pressure increased. On the seventh step, Black Chi condensed behind him into a black figure. That figure raised its head and roared. With a single roar, the entire barrier instantly became covered in cracks. The spectators covered their ears and screamed. It's the sound of the heavenly howlers, exclaimed an expert of the senior generation. The heavenly howlers could be considered an ancient species. Their bodies were like apes, and they had long arms and short legs. It was said that they could crush stars with a single hand and shatter the heavens with a single howl. No one had expected Ku Wu Aya's manifestation to be such an ancient beast. It was a terrifying beast famed for its power. Just its roar was enough to terrify everyone. Ku Wu Aya was no human, he was a monster. However, Bai Shishi remained indifferent. Even after summoning her golden lotus and blasting Ku Wu Aya away, she didn't pursue him. She only formed hand seals. Her hand seals were quick. In the blink of an eye, she finished hundreds of seals, and it was impossible to even see her fingers as they flew. Struggling is useless. In front of my absolute power, you can do anything, sneered Ku Wu Aya, swinging his wolf tooth club. With a single swing, a giant tear in space appeared. It didn't heal for a long time. His power has reached the level of affecting laws, divine lord experts exclaimed their shock. It had to be known that only at the divine lord realm could they barely manage to interact with the profundities of laws. However, Ku Wu Aya was only at the divine flame realm. Above the divine flame realm was still the four peak realm. Only when four peaks were merged into one did one reach true divinity becoming a divine lord. There were two major realms apart, one was on the earth, and the other was in the heavens. So how could Ku Wu Aya possess this kind of power? The divine flame disciples and the four peak experts might not know what he was doing, but the divine lord experts were stunned. No wonder they heard that he had slain divine lords before. They had thought that it was just some exaggerated rumors, but seeing this today, they no longer doubted it. Ku Wu Aya truly was shocking. It seemed that he did possess the power to slay divine lords. It was also rumored that Ji Yu Ayun had slain divine lords as well, and not just one. However, that was understandable to these divine lords because Ji Yu Ayun was an assassin, an assassin specialized in killing targets that were even stronger than them. However, Ku Wu Aya was no assassin. If he wanted to kill a divine lord, he would need to rely on true power. There was a difference between the two. As Ku Wu Aya continued to walk toward Bai Shishi, an ear-piercing sound rang out from his wolf tooth club that shook people's hearts. Suddenly, Bai Shishi's hand seals came to a stop, 
and golden lights burst into existence behind her. A giant ring of golden light appeared with sparks of light within it. As more of them appeared, people realized that they formed a miniature person. This person slowly grew larger until it appeared to be a long-haired woman. She was slender and elegant, like a goddess that had come from ancient times, yet also like a fairy that had descended from the heavens. When they saw her, it felt like time came to a stop. She continued to grow larger and eventually walked out of the ring of light. At this moment, Bai Shishi's body suddenly became illusory. The figure merged with her, and then the two of them walked onto the golden lotus. After that, the golden lotus shrank. Some kind of mysterious power caused space to collapse. When the golden lotus was only about three feet long, Bai Shishi was once more Bai Shishi, but she was now one with that golden figure. She appeared the same, but her black hair had turned golden. Her eyes also had golden marks revolving within them. She had become a golden war goddess. Activating my bloodline power for the first time actually took so much time, but it's done. Bai Shishi looked at her own hand. Upon seeing the golden lines flowing on top of it, a slight smile appeared on her face. After that, the sound of her sword coming out of its sheath rang out clearly. She shot out, a streak of golden light flashing through the air. Kul Wuaya suddenly roared and swung his club. However, he missed. The next moment, golden light flashed, and an arm flew into the air along with a spray of fresh blood that was black as ink. Chapter 3139 Shocking Change People only saw a flash of golden light. They didn't even see what Bai Shishi did. But with a flash of golden light, Kul Wuaya's arm separated from the rest of his body. She, she's too fast. It was only once the golden light stopped that they saw Bai Shishi once more standing on her golden lotus. She slowly turned, her sword still stained with specks of Kul Wuaya's black blood. With golden light shining around her, Bai Shishi appeared to be peerlessly noble and sacred. She even possessed a strange Deo charm that seemed to separate her from the rest of the world, as if she didn't belong. Suddenly, Bai Shishi moved again. Her golden lotus quivered and she appeared in front of Ku Wuaya. When her sword fell, streaks of golden light condensed, as if the river of stars was slashing down. Boom! Ku Wuaya shouted, and with a single arm, he blocked with his club. This time, he had grasped Bai Shishi's movements. However, Ku Wuaya was sent flying, a streak of golden sword chi shot out, piercing through the barrier. Watch out! Seeing the sword chi pierce through the barrier, startled cries rang out, especially from the people in its path. They didn't even have time to get out of the way. Boom! Suddenly, another runic barrier appeared in front of the spectator stands, blocking the golden sword chi. Only then could those people wipe off their cold sweat, so there was actually another barrier protecting the spectators. 10,000 sword seal space. Suddenly, Bai Shishi let out a shout, and golden light condensed into sharp swords that rained down on Ku Wuaya. They covered the entire martial stage, and there was no way for him to dodge them all. Their sharpness caused a screeching sound as they passed through the air. Metal energy was particularly sharp. It was said to be able to pierce all defenses. Bai Shishi's current metal energy truly did appear unstoppable. However, Ku Wuaya raised his head and laughed. His severed arm had at some unknown point regrown itself. It's useless. My physical body isn't something that you can imagine. Sharp metal energy is useless. Ku Wuaya wasn't even done speaking before countless swords pierced through his body. His black blood splashed everywhere, leaving him riddled with holes. However, shockingly, his body would quickly heal. In less than half a breath's time, his physical body would appear the exact same as before. How can this be? Does he possess an undying body? Everyone was stunned. Terror appeared in Lu Mingxun's eyes. His recovery ability is just that terrifying, but it's much stronger than when I encountered him, said young master Cheng Chuan. There is no such thing as a true undying body in this world. Ku Wuaya simply has strong self-recovery. On the other hand, Shishi's attacks are sharp, but don't contain any divine energy or heavenly Tao will that remains on the wounds. Hence, she can only attack his body but not his spirit. As she can't damage this core, such an attack is useless. Long Chen shook his head, his expression just as grave as young master Cheng Chun's. Big sister Shishi, she should understand this, 
No, then why, said Luo Xuat. Long Chen said, from the way she formed hand seals and summoned her manifestation, it's clear that this is her first time unleashing this power. Her primal bloodline has only just awoken, and it hasn't fully merged with heavenly Tao energy. She is unable to add her own will and mental energy to her attacks. Long Chen knew that this was most likely related to Bai Shishi's seal. In order to conceal Bai Shishi's power, the High Firmament Academy had intentionally prevented her from awakening her primal bloodline. The benefit of this was that outsiders were unaware that she was a primal, and she was able to grow up peacefully without fear of being assassinated. Another benefit was that with her primal bloodline about to awaken, by suppressing it, the eruption would be even greater. Done properly, it could be very beneficial to her. However, there were drawbacks as well. Now that she had just awoken her bloodline, she was inexperienced and unable to control this power. Her metal energy was sharp but didn't possess enough destructive power. It was unable to cause any fatal injuries to Ku Wuaya. It wasn't that she wasn't strong but that her primal bloodline was too powerful, to the point that she couldn't fully control it. She was unable to turn it into effective killing power. Hence, Long Chen started to worry for her. Bai Shishi suddenly stepped into the air. With three steps in three different directions, thousands of figures of her appeared. It was as if there were thousands of Bai Shishi. People were unable to tell which was the true body. Ku Wuaya suddenly roared and smashed his club in the air. After that, a powerful explosion unleashed golden light. They saw a golden sword had struck his club. From the thousands of Bai Shishis in the air, he had managed to pinpoint where the true Bai Shishi was. Even so, he coughed up a mouthful of blood and was sent flying by her sword. Bai Shishi's figure reappeared in the air. At some point, her lotus throne had vanished, but now there was a lotus mark on her sword. Well done. Long Chen slapped his leg, cheering for her. This was very clever of her. She had realized her own problem and had directly attacked Ku Wuaya with her core energy. That golden lotus was her manifestation. Contrary to other people, it was also the source of her metal energy. She was unable to control that vast power properly and was unable to add her own mental energy and will to her attacks. Thus, she had been unable to cause the Heavenly Tao to assist in her attacks and unable to cause any damage to Ku Wuaya. However, by merging her core energy into her sword, she made it simple, rather than technique, she competed purely with core energy, and that could make up for her lack of control. A clash of core energy was a direct clash of power. Her sword tore through the air, Ku Wuaya once more blocked it and was sent flying again, coughing up blood, he was enraged. He didn't want to compete in core energy against Bai Shishi. Bai Shishi wasn't his ultimate goal. If he harmed his core while fighting Bai Shishi, he would be at a disadvantage in the next match if he encountered Ji Yui Yun or Long Chen. Whether it was damage to his physical body or his spiritual body, either was easier to heal. But if his core energy was damaged, it would be impossible to recover within half a month. His goal was the Golden Dragon Scale, and his ultimate opponent was Ji Yui Yun. He didn't want to waste his energy on Bai Shishi, but now, with every exchange, he was injured. Let's see how long you can last, Bai Shishi snorted. Ku Wuaya wasn't using his core energy, resulting in her using up very little of her own core energy. She was confident that her core energy was stronger than Ku Wuaya's. Boom, boom, boom. Bai Shishi repeatedly forced Ku Wuaya back. The entire martial stage was covered in his black blood. No. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed. He shot up and shouted, Shishi, admit defeat. Chapter 3140 Sinister Ku Wuaya Luo Bing and the others jumped in shock. Why would Long Chen suddenly say such a thing? Bai Shishi clearly had the advantage and was making Ku Wuaya cough up blood with every blow. Ha ha, too late. Ku Wuaya suddenly laughed and tossed aside his weapon. He then formed a hand seal. Corpse Devil 9 Revolution, Ghost Curse Devours Life. Black spots condensed in the air. No one had noticed that when he was coughing up blood, some of his blood would disperse into the air. Only Long Chen had noticed that dissipated blood had secretly condensed into something that seemed like a diagram. When Long Chen saw the diagram, a sensation of intense danger filled his body. 
He instantly realized then that Ku Wuaya was coughing up blood not because of Bai Shishi's core energy, but because he was setting up a trap. However, it was too late. The black spots condensed into sinister life forms. These life forms' upper bodies were like a toad, but their lower bodies were hair like tentacles. An air of resentment erupted. It was as if souls that had died wrongly 10,000 years ago were now coming to demand vengeance. Even divine lords felt a chill. The spectators were horrified. Is this the legendary corpse devils? When experts die, their resentment doesn't dissipate. Instead, it is absorbed and transformed into a beast that devours resentment. If it is allowed to grow forever, it can eventually destroy the entire world, said someone with a shuddering voice. There were all kinds of rumors about the corpse devil Dao. Most people didn't have much concrete information on it. However, there was such a record of it. These are corpse monsters, not corpse devils. A corpse devil can only be formed when an extremely powerful expert dies with too much resentment. They don't enter reincarnation and instead become a corpse devil. Such a corpse devil possesses its own instinctual will and is very difficult to control. Even if it could be controlled, it wouldn't be something that a divine flame disciple like Kuwuaya could control. Furthermore, he would need to constantly feed it his essence blood and soul energy just to prevent it from dying. Done badly, the corpse devil would devour him. Even if he could control one, he wouldn't be able to control this many. These can only be considered corpse monsters. I heard that the corpse devil Dao has an extremely sinister secret art in which you torture someone as cruelly as possible in order to create as much resentment, and then you extract that resentment to form a corpse monster. A corpse monster isn't as strong as a corpse devil, but it's easier to control, said a divine lord who was slightly informed on the topic. Just at this moment, black spots appeared on Bai Shishi's sword. A black pattern also appeared on her body. Those tentacled creatures opened their mouths and shot out black threads that matched the black patterns of Bai Shishi's body. Bai Shishi was shocked to find that she could no longer move. Some kind of power bound her body, and endless resentment spirits attacked her mind. Sharp cries rang out in her mind sea. Ha ha ha, you're too naive. All that power, and you can't control it. You want to compete using core energy? Childish. I used my essence blood to lay down this corpse devil grand curse formation. You should accept your fate. Ku Wuaya walked toward Bai Shishi. Bai Shishi was shaking, and her eyes had lost focus. She was currently battling with the resentment spirits in her mind. If those resentful spirits won, her soul would be consumed, and she would fall under Ku Wuaya's control. Ku Wuaya suddenly turned to look at Long Chen and dipped his thumb down at him. Long Chen instantly shot up. Long Chen, don't. If you attack the formation, you will be killed. Luo Xue and the others instantly grabbed him. Ku Wuaya was intentionally provoking Long Chen to get him killed. Last time, although Long Chen had managed to get close to the formation, he hadn't attacked it, so he had only triggered the formation's passive attacks. If he actually attacked the formation, then the resulting backlash would wipe out even a divine lord. Long Chen would definitely die. However, Luo Xue and the others felt a burst of power, and their blood chi flipped inside of them. They were blown back. They cried out, but Long Chen had charged toward the martial stage. All the spectators cried out in shock. Just how was he so foolish? Runic swords immediately shot out of the barrier at Long Chen. Long Chen darkly dodged them as he pressed onward. Long Chen knew just how terrifying this curse was. He had also been cursed once. This kind of power wasn't something that Bai Shishi could resist. Ku Wuaya was even more terrifying than he had expected. Although Bai Shishi was powerful, she lacked experience and hadn't been able to see through his ploy. As for himself, due to being separated by the barrier, it was too late by the time he reacted. Ha ha ha, you really are an idiot. Why don't you come in and fight? If you don't dare, I'll take off Bai Shishi's clothes in front of everyone so that the world can enjoy her beauty. Ku Wuaya laughed when saw that Long Chen really had charged over. He walked up to Bai Shishi and extended a hand. Stop, Long Chen roared. He had reached the barrier, which stopped shooting runic swords. Instead, it was now condensing one giant rune that grew until it ultimately shrank into a single mark that was like an eye gazing at Long Chen. This eye contained a power that made heaven and earth shake. As long as Long Chen got closer, it would mercilessly wipe him out. Long Chen, don't. Lu Mingxuan and the others cried out, 
fraught with worry. Miu Qingyan was even crying. If Long Chen charged over, he wouldn't be able to save Bai Shishi. He would only throw away his life. That I possessed a power that made even Divine Lords shudder. As for Long Chen, he slowly extended a hand. Long Chen, don't. Bai Shishi suddenly opened her eyes and shouted. The resulting distraction caused her to cough up blood. Bai Shishi was currently fighting off the spiritual invasion of Ku Wuai's curse. She had only just formed a temporary spiritual defense and was preparing to counterattack when she saw Long Chen standing in front of the barrier. In her panic, she shouted, only for this to cause her defenses to weaken. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, if you're a man, then come. Ku Wuai reached his hand toward Bai Shishi. 